If I were the devil. If I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness. And I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be satisfied until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree. The. And so I would set about, however necessary, to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve, do as you please. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I would convince, <clears throat> I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square. And the old, I would teach to pray after me, our Father who art in Washington. And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors on how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves, until each in its turn was consumed. And with the promises of higher ratings, I would have mesmerizing media fanning the flames. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions, just let those run wild until before you knew it. You'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. Within a decade, I'd have prisons overflowing, I'd have judges promoting pornography, and soon I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. And in God's own churches, I would substitute psychology for religion and deify science. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. If I were the devil, I'd make the symbol of Easter the egg and the symbol of Christmas the bottle. If I were the devil, I would take from those who have and give to those who wanted until I had killed this, the incentive of the ambitious. And what do, you, what do you bet I could get whole states to promote gambling as the way to get rich? I would caution against extremes and hard work and patriotism and moral conduct. I would convince the young that marriage is old-fashioned, that swinging is more fun, and that what you see on TV is the way to be. And thus I could undress you in public and I could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. This was written by Paul Harvey in 1965. It was delivered by Paul Harvey in 1965. I got a question for you. What are we seeing in the world today? Do we not see metal detectors and drug-sniffing dogs? Have we not evicted the God, the God of, the, of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob? Have we not evicted the man that we crucified on a cross 2,000 years ago from the schoolhouses and the courthouses? Have we not seen the literal degradation of marriage as, a st as the stable family unit? Have we not seen the death of the nuclear family right before our eyes? And you tell me God doesn't exist. This is the one time I agree with Cat Williams wholeheartedly when he said, it's God's side and the other side. We are involved in a war and it is time for you to wake up. Paul Harvey said, if I were the devil... I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. We are the most medicated. We are the most, we are the most medicated generation I have ever seen. We are the most pacified. I'm here to tell you this evening. I'm here to tell you this morning. I'm here to tell you whenever you watch this video, the devil is winning. Now, obviously, I read the last chapter of a, of a certain book, so I know who wins in the end, and I'm on the side of the guy that wins in the end, but I'm here to tell you, our kids need us to wake up. Our families need us to wake up. It is time to get back to traditionalism as best we can. It is time to get back to actually looking and acting and moving like we need each other. Men need women. Women need men. Are you following me, my friends? Or have I got you thoroughly confused? That's the question. Are you asleep? Are you truly awakened? You dig?